Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Cami Page Boutique. Today I am bringing to you kind of a wacky crazy idea that I had um, to add a geode base to a wine glass. And with 4th of July right around the corner, I thought it would be awesome to use patriotic colors to bring this idea to life. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I've got two geo molds that I got from Amazon and a couple of wine glasses that were actually gifted to me a couple years ago that really had a nice red color to them that I thought would be perfect for this project. Of course, I'm using a little extra epoxy because I think it's I've had wonderful success with it and for this project I think it would really help to bring the whole piece to life. Before I poured the epoxy in, I took a little bit of painter's tape, um, just rolled it on top of itself and came into the molds just to remove any dust, glitter, um, just specks of stuff that could be in my craft room and removed it so that we would have a perfect shine for the geodes. Now, when you look at wine glasses, you know that the bottoms aren't perfect. So to start off, I really wanted to come up with a way to fill that void in the bottom of the wine glass so we wouldn't have any air bubbles that could affect the overall integrity of the geode coaster that we were adding. So at first I tried just this little bit of epoxy in the bottom of the coaster. Um, granted, I put uh, about 15 mLs in each um, to fill that void, and it didn't work. Um, I was still getting a pretty big bubble underneath the wine glass, so you'll see here I'm kind of finicking with it a little bit to get that um, bubble out. Um, I then poured, or used the popsicle stick to try and get some more epoxy in that void, and it worked pretty well, um, but not as well as I was hoping, but it, for that glass, it was perfect. What actually ended up working the best, and you'll see it here in a second, is I poured that extra epoxy that you can see right there into the bottom of the void and really quickly stuck it into the mold. And when I did that, I had absolutely no air bubbles. It was a lot easier than the popsicle stick. Um, and I think it adhered just a little bit better. Um, and then there was a little bit of a space um, in the coaster, so I just went ahead and filled it in with some of the remaining epoxy that I had. I let those sit for about 10 minutes um, just to kind of stiffen up a little bit so that they wouldn't move. Um, and you can see me, I torched any micro bubbles out to give it the perfect shine. Um, and then I went ahead and I mixed up my um, epoxy for my glitter colors. So I made 120 mLs of epoxy using a little extra ink and I split it into four medicine cups. So. That one right there is 1776 from Peachy Olive Glitters. It's a really beautiful red that I thought just popped and really matched the top of the wine glass perfectly. So love the choice of the glitter. And so right here, what you can see I'm doing is just making sure to get a thick line of red glitter around the outside. You can kind of see it here, but because of the epoxy that we added to get the bottom of the wine glasses really secure in that mold, there is a little bit of clear epoxy around the outside. Um, I'll show you in a second how to kind of deal with that, but first what I wanted to make sure I did was come in with that Liberty on top of the red while also giving it its own little space to make sure that the colors really combined enough but not too much to where they made a purple. Um, I did want a little bit of mixing of the colors to really make the red, white, and blue pop, um, but I still wanted them to live independently. So I came in with a uh, stainless steel coffee stirrer. Again, I can link it down at the bottom. It's a wonderful tool, highly recommend. And I just pushed the red glitter into the corners of the geode to make sure that that color was really going to pop once we removed um, the epoxy out of the mold. I also mixed the blue in a little bit with the red just to kind of intermingle those colors a little bit more. Then after those two colors had mixed just enough, I came in with Chantilly. Um, the reason why I chose Chantilly is because it's got a nice blue flake in it or just kind of speckle of blue throughout it that I really thought complemented the Liberty glitter color. But also there's some almost warmer undertones too that was perfect complement to the red. So I thought it was 
a wonderful choice for the white and I really liked how all three of the colors work together. The Chantilly did take over a little bit and I think it's because I added just a tad too much. So if you have this issue or if you feel like another color is taking over, don't feel like you can't correct it. Come in and add in more of any color that you'd like to see and it's going to be wonderful. You don't have to worry about it. Um, it'll really be beautiful with whatever you make. So, After I was done kind of touching up the wine glasses, um, I had gotten some silver flake from Michaels and I mixed it into about 20 ml of epoxy. Um, and this had been sitting while I was adding the other glitter in, so it thickened up enough to where the silver flake wouldn't float to the bottom of the coaster. So that's really important because a lot of times when you put flakes in the coasters, it just sinks to the bottom. But because this had been sitting, it just added a great detail to the coasters that I feel brought the whole look together. And I just love the way like this detail made the whole piece just that that much better. <laughs> so with a little extra epoxy, the epoxy sets up in a good four hours on a tumbler. So you, your work time is a little reduced. It's not like, oh my gosh, you have to hurry up, but you still have to kind of stick with it. I waited about 30 minutes for the epoxy to really start setting up. And then I came back in and I twisted the wine glass. So not only to make sure it was positioned in the middle in case it moved, but it also gave the glitters this great like Milky Way spiral effect that you can see in these, um, in the geodes and how they came together. I love them. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Pictures do not do this, do this justice, but I can't wait to see what you guys came up with using this technique. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked what you see, hit like and subscribe for all our future tutorials. Love you. Bye.